Hey Puka. What was uh what was it like being part of that start of that game? Because you guys made some big plays, the you know, scoring touchdowns on four of the first five drives. That had to be pretty fun as as part of the offense. No, yeah, super fun. That's that's been our objective since week one to just come out and start strong, and we were able to piece it together and put together. We had, I mean, made simple adjustments to our game plan, and I think we put a little bit more pressure on our receivers. And uh, I mean, we've been stepping up, but today was definitely a heyday for us. So it was super fun to get out there and sling it around a little bit and make some plays through the air. You had a chance there in the end zone there in the what the fourth quarter, a little bit behind you, and I thought you might make that one hander. Is that one you think of and be like, man, I wish I'd gotten it? Or does it just move on to the next? No, that's de- I mean, you never want to leave any out there. So I definitely, I mean, it really did kind of, I had, you know, it made the stick noise as soon as it hit my club. So I thought I had it, but I, I don't think uh, I've ever had a ball kind of take me off my feet like that. I'm going to have to watch it on tape, but man, Baylor put some heat on that. So next time we'll, we'll work it and the, we'll get the timing and stuff down. But no, I definitely should have came down with it. <laughs> it would have made a huge difference in that fourth quarter of switching them. But I mean, we can't. We we trust our defense, and we've left them in some situations where it wasn't the best, and we're leaving them out there on the field for a long time. So we got to execute on our side of the on our side of the ball and make sure we keep them well rested and ready to go. But we we love those guys. I mean, they they held it out for us and kept us going. Ben and then Mitch. Uh, Puka, uh, four receptions, 102 yards. Uh, really nice performance from you. Uh, obviously, you were connecting with with Baylor as well. Tell us a little bit about your chemistry with Baylor over the last week. Yeah, it's been fun. I mean, Baylor's always taking the reps behind Jared and stuff, so we knew. Or uh, I mean, coming into the new team and stuff, everybody's always talking about how confident they are in Baylor, and uh, I was be able to be a first hand witness of that tonight. And our connection felt great. We had worked a uh, we had worked these routes during practice this week, and it was only perfect. I mean, in, in the the look, the stutter look that I got. I mean, I put my head down and kept running, and the ball. I looked up, and the ball fell right into my lap. So there's definitely a connection there. And he was slinging it around to everybody. I'm looking here. Uh, we we sling the ball around to a lot of our guys and. Gunner, obviously, the brother connection, you, you never get tired of that. So that was fun to see. And then uh, it was just fun to be out there to make for us receivers and tight ends to get more involved in the passing game to see it finally connect. And we're still not there. We know we're not hitting on all cylinders, but we're definitely making progress. That's for sure. And, and one last thing, too. It typically takes two, three, sometimes four defenders to bring you down. Like, what's your mentality when you get the ball? And there's that contact there. And how do you drive through? Uh, I love the contact. I guess, I mean, <laughs> you guys know I've grown up with brothers. So I, I guess me being the youngest one, I always got hit and beat on. So I had to learn how to take the punches and run with them and keep going. So I, when they try to hit me, I mean, uh, I'm a big receiver, 6'2", I have 200 plus pounds. So, I mean, if you're going to hit me, I'm going to make sure you feel it too. So. <laughs> For you personally, do you feel like this was a, a breakout performance for you in your BYU career that you can start to build off of now? Um, Kind of. I think it was – uh, yeah, definitely a breakout game. I think this – I mean, I'm not – exactly sure but i believe this is the first time i've broken 100 yards in my career and it was so fun to do it in the home in, in our home crowd so it was super fun but i'm still i think we're 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 right on the bridge of going off in the past game so i'm excited it was uh it was fun i left some out there last week so it was fun to come back and uh kind of re-up so it was, it was definitely fun <laughs> when do you feel like you're you're at your best as a receiver like what what attributes do you feel like you, you could provide to this offense on a week in, week out basis as you get more targets? Um, I pride myself in being able to run all routes, being a little bit of a big receiver. So I know, I mean, the last week I'm still thinking about the Arizona State. I mean, early in the game, we hit me on a comeback and I didn't, I wasn't able to get out of my break. And then we threw a deep ball. And so it was, it was a huge, a huge relief when we connected on that, that deep ball on our sideline. So it was kind of to get the little jitters out and kind of just like you said, the start of uh, kind of my run and hopefully being more consistent and uh, ready for a bigger role to keep keep pushing. I'm excited. We're, we're, we're not hitting it yet, but it's fun for us to score touchdowns out in the receiver group for sure. Sean? Puka, how frustrating is it when uh, the other team's playing possession ball the way they did? I mean, really well, credit to USF, 35 minutes possession, I think it was, but you guys only got out there for three possessions in the second and a half. Is that, I mean, were you getting itchy or antsy going? Because I know, I know you just want to go out and do your thing. So just how frustrating is that on the sideline, I guess? Um. It's not too frustrating. I mean, we trust our defense a lot, and we see them every day. So knowing that we were down a couple guys, it was it was exciting to see 
other guys step up and make plays. And then I think it was a learning opportunity for our defense. I mean, they've held a lot of good teams to under 20 points. So for them to kind of see what it was like against a different team and get uh, a lot of different looks from USF. Uh, I was excited to see our defense. I think they they played really well, and then they, they got a lot of things they can work on too. But, I mean, that's why we play football. Is we'll come in tomorrow and figure it out and get ready to go again next week. And go ahead. Luca, this is about uh, a couple of games prior, Utah games. Can you take us through the, the celebration with your brother, the emotion, what it meant to you and Samson at that time versus Utah? We haven't been able to talk to you about it, so um, I'm sure you knew what the play was and you kind of knew it could happen, but take us through your thoughts, your emotions. Uh, what it meant to you and your family? <laughs> no, yeah, definitely. I mean, we as soon as I seen the play go in and uh, Samson was out there, it was just it was just a matter of time. <laughs> I think I was somewhere on the twenty five or thirty yard line, and as soon as I see him break out for his whip route, I mean, I was in a full sprint to the end zone, and he came down with it. And I, I I don't think I've ever had like such tunnel vision before in my life. I from the sideline to where I hit Samson, I I didn't see anybody else besides number forty five and. <laughs> after uh, everybody was showing me the clip of Mason Wake trying to jump on <laughs> jump on Samson everybody's celebrating and I come and undercut him but yeah I was so locked in it was just so exciting for him I mean obviously my brother and but uh, how it was for him to be able to score against his former team and just the uh, <laughs> the roar of the crowd that game and just the excitement of being in the Utah game it was just everything added up to the pinnacle and it was it was so fun to be a part of <laughs> I think I broke I I may have hurt Samson because I punched him really hard but as a little brother he deserved it. <laughs> awesome, thanks so much for that. Thank you.